Well, good day, everybody. Um, it's Sunday morning down here in Australia, and uh, it's Sunday afternoon in the states, or Saturday afternoon in the states. Actually, goodness, I've been living there. I lived there for t- twelve years or something. Um, okay, I see there's eight people watching. Um, if you'd like to put it, your name, uh, I'd appreciate to say hello. Um, but again, this. I'm not, this is not about entertainment, this one is about education. Um, I particularly, uh, my name's Alan Carrington and I've been in learning design for 30 years and I've been working with higher education for 20 of it. <clears throat> and of course, the big thing about uh, uh, delivery of education in higher ed, higher ed is, is lecture. And um, so part of ECAMS, Power, of course, is how to uh, increase the engagement of the didactic delivery, and um, this is one way in which I've uh, I, I've got very interested in. And people have been talking about transitions, and I'm a heavy uh, heavy um, keynote user, <coughs> and you can use keynote, and I'll let Bradley teach you do that uh, to build these things called stingers. Uh, firstly, I'll show you one, and then I'll we'll talk about what it is. How about that? That's a transition between two scenes, and this is the way the, the dictionaries, the Wikipedias describe it. A stinger or bumper is a short clip of music, no music there, guys, or video that can be used to introduce, end or link various sections of an audio or audiovisual presentation. Uh, sometimes they are also called sounders, that's new to me, I'd inverted that one before, and can often have voiceover and sound effects incorporated. You see them on TV all the time. Um, they typically show the brand and what your video represents. So that's what a stinger or a bumper is, and um, Bradley can do a lot of uh, a, a nice transition. <laughs> Thanks, Cyprian. Um, I got to keep watching to the to one side to see the comments. But um, what what uh, what what I'm really interested in is how do we, you know we can use transitions. There is a limited amount of transitions in eCam, and that's that's fine. But these bumpers or stingers, uh, you can build them in Keynote, as I said, and Bradley can uh, do that way better than I can. But uh, I, I'm in particularly interested in TV quality uh, stingers, and what you just saw was one of those. Um, so uh, there's another one, not a stinger, that one's a bumper, that one's called lower thirds, of course you all know that. But um, these um, uh, bump stingers, in what I'm talking about today, is how to be in between two scenes in ECAM. Now, it... Uh, it's you set up three scenes. <laughs> you put the, the the stinger in the middle, and that creates somewhat of a, a scene management issue, and uh, and to the rescue comes Stream Deck. So this is what a Stream Deck, my Stream Deck looks like in in this particular presentation. <clears throat> now, without getting too deep into it, I'm not here to. Tr- talk to you about how to do this in too much detail in Stream Deck. If anybody wants to contact me, um, hi Leander, um, you uh, connect with me as well uh, if you want to know more about this, I'd love to talk to anybody. Um, but this this is the way this works. What you see there with the yellow borders around on my Stream Deck are actually multi-actions. And if you've got a Stream Deck uh, and you haven't explored multi-actions, <coughs> you're missing out on a load of power, okay? And there's multi-action switching, which is I won't talk about today. But um, so what you saw was a Flash 01 Stinger was what I just I just showed you. And um, what that what that a basic Stinger looks like or Stinger management of Keynote, of a Stream Deck looks like is this. And so in a multi-action you have, uh, this is generic in this, next scene which takes you into the one where the the overlay is and ecam look, reads it as an overlay um and so <coughs> excuse me you can't put a uh, uh a move to next scene on one of these things because it's an overlay and 
that feature's not in Ecamm. So this is a way you can work around it until they put it into Ecamm, maybe. Um, so you move to the next scene with the arrow uh, up, up there and you have, then you put in a transition delay. And um, the actual stinger is three seconds. Okay, it's, it's literally a overlay, a, a transparent move that um, is, has a very short duration and very dynamic. The ones I'm using are three seconds. They're TV quality and I can, uh, I, I adjust, the, I, what do you call it, um, edit them and create these things. Now, the delay in there is two, min two minutes, 20 seconds. That's right. <coughs> Excuse my, my throat. Um, the reason I do that, make it slightly shorter, it was a bit of a suck it and see, because I wanted to move to a scene, excuse me, <coughs> that has um, uh, a, a, a background on it and an image on it, and it takes just that little second longer. And when I had it set at three seconds for the straight one and I moved into one of these type of layouts you've got now, you see the camera before the camera changes. So it's a bit of suck it and see, but start with the length of your, of, of your, um, uh, of your singer and you put a delay in it, then it moved to the next scene. So in fact, it's three scenes. So the first one is where you are. The second one is contains the the little overlay, and the third one is where you want to go. And by putting that delay in the middle of it, uh, you, you get uh, quite an effect. Now, um, I was asked this morning, just before we come on, about can you change cameras? And the answer to that, I think, is yes. I have to do it differently because I use an ATM Mini, okay? And... Um, the Mini, of course, is the way you change cameras. Now, everybody's going to say, uh, or people who use uh, ATEMs, <coughs> so, oh, you can use Companion. But I'm making a plea, guys. I have not yet had anybody emph emphatically tell me that they can use a Companion software and the Elgato software on the same Stream Deck at the same time without any conflict. There's little warnings out there that that could be a problem. But I've been asking two or three times and I asked today, if you use companion software to drive your ATEM Minis or Mini Pros and you have that on the same Stream Deck as you have the Elgato system so that you can drive Ecamm and it all works together for good, then uh, please talk to me, okay? So uh, this, is, um, this is what a camera... When I do my camera, I manually change it uh, with my ATEM. But um, it's my ca my second camera, which is over here, is facing is has the window behind it. So my lights get in the way. So what I've added is you can see there up there. You can see I've added a turn the light off, and then it delays a bit, and then that gives me time to to um. Uh, it gives me time to um, change the cameras. So, okay, there's another lower third. The beautiful things, actually. Um, now, this this is going to. I'm going to change the camera. I'm going to look over here. The lights are going to go off first. Then the stinger activates. I change the camera. Now, I'm hoping that I get somebody say I do this or I'm going to suck it and see when I and put companion on and get my ATM in that in that multi-action as well which makes it much smoother but here we go okay okay the lights went off and we should be on yes we are we're on the new camera so uh, the lights are on my face because the camera is the, um, the window is behind it now, I do the same sort of thing in reverse to get back to the other camera. So we'll go back to this and we'll do this. And we come back to the main camera. And the lights are back on. It's very cool, guys. Uh, 
I have two master's degrees, one in education and one in interactive multimedia, and ECAM feeds my multimedia DNA like crazy. I just love it. But uh, you see what I'm saying? Is that making sense? Has anybody got any questions that they'd like to ask about? Um, I'm not a nerd. I'm the farthest thing from a nerd. I'm an educator who happens to have a multimedia streak in him if it's if it's easy to do <laughs> okay well seeing you haven't um there's one more thing i wanted to do uh show, i'm sorry i'll show you that stinger that that's um the the stinger to get me back and the, the gate this gate idea just as a little longer enables me to turn around and get back so you can design it according to to you know your, your requirements and what I want to do now is, uh, that's pretty well all I've got um, to talk about today, but if there is anybody that uh, has any questions after the, the, the event, drop them in the content, the commit comments section down below, and if you want to know more about this, I'll work on it. At the, This afternoon, I've got to teach into, would you believe, 250 students uh, are, are waiting for me in it, at seven o'clock tonight Australian time in the Ukraine to talk about that thing down there called the pedag down there called the pedagogy wheel. Okay, um, so thanks, Sammy. Um, but there's one more thing I need to do, and I don't think anybody's done. I've watched I've watched the doc talk about the Jewish celebration, but I want to wish you all season's greetings. And Glynis and I, that's my wife, uh, and because there's a lot of teachers that I hope are going to watch this that are not necessarily ECAMers. So all my colleagues, my friends, family, ECAM uh, community, Glynis and I want to wish you all a, a, a great season, a happy Christmas. And so this is the first time ever I've done a live Christmas card. Happy Christmas, everybody. Um, Chris, um, I, it's a paid conference, but talk to me, buddy. I'll, I'll give you some links to, to some pretty, pretty intense videos that I've been creating. I must have put hundreds of hours into this one. Okay, and Ricky, yes, it is. It's a Pans, Panasonic G85. There's a whole... I was uh, very influenced by what Adrian said. Uh, in in the um, uh, ECAM Academy back in March, and I looked towards the Panasonic Sonics. The G7 is a magnificent, best quality um, value for buck, in my humble opinion, um, if it's going to be used in a studio. The G85, which is what I went for, is because we do are going to do tutorials out in the field. So um, that's the 20 millimeter lens. It's it's. It's absolutely beautiful, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the, 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 the other camera is, uh, is a different lens. I, I, if you told me a year ago I'd end up with two G85s uh, and three lenses, I would have told you you've got rocks in your head. <laughs> All right, happy Christmas, everybody, and um, thank you for listening, and I hope, I hope you've been inspired and you've learned something.